This video demonstrates key ideas for some fundamental equation rearranging or making x the subject of an equation. Now these are just equations with letters rather than numbers. So to solve these we use our normal equation solving techniques. So the first example ax plus b equals c. There's a plus b on that side of the equation. So I will begin by taking away b from both sides of the equation, inverse functions. So the left hand side becomes just ax, because the b has been removed. But if I subtract b from the right hand side, I can write this as an expression, which would be, I had a c there before, and I'm going to take away a b from it. We cannot work out what c take away b is, but we can leave it in an algebraic form. We are then left with an a times by an x, which has an inverse of divide. So I divide by a to leave x equal to c take away b, but this has been divided by a. And that is an equation in terms of x and has been successfully rearranged. Now the second example begins with an x take away a p all over a. Now the general routine is to look at the thing which is most complicated and in a sense what's been done last. We took away p and then divide by a. So first of all I must times by a to reverse the last operation done. If I times by a the left hand side becomes x take away p because I've cancelled out the divide by a but the right hand side becomes d times by a and then to finish off I have an x take away a p so I must add a p inverse functions x equals d times a plus so we have successfully rearranged two equations. Now these two examples here are going to demonstrate a skill called factorising. It happens when the x term occurs more than once. We have an ax plus a bx on the same side. Now, were it to be, for example, 5x plus 7x, that could equal 12x. But in this case, we have to factorise. So we have worked out a plus b times by x. This equals q. We then have a coefficient times by an x. We can then divide by the entire coefficient. So we end up with x equal to q all divided by a plus b. We don't need the bracket down there, but we could as well put it in. So, once again, when the x term appeared more than once on the same side, it was factorised. And then we divided by the a plus the b. So, in our final example, we have an x term.
term appearing more than once, but they are on different sides. So first of all, we must get them to the same side. So I could subtract Qx from both sides, inverse function, Jx. I try and subtract Qx, that equals to P. I have subtracted Qx from both sides, that side cancelled out, and here is the takeaway Qx. We now have the x terms on the same side, so we factorise. We have a j minus a q times by the x equals the p. And to finish off with, we divide by the coefficient of j minus q. So x equals p divided by j minus q. And that is an equation in terms of x. To summarize, when we observe the x term appearing more than once, we bring the x terms to the same side, we factorize and then divide by that coefficient.